check on our forecast now. Meteorologist Violet Skyboard joins us. And you know, Violet, it's one thing to get through today, but we have some chillier weather coming our way too, don't we? Yeah, and some wetter weather as well. It's going to stay soggy even after a wet start to the week. Tomorrow, we're also going to be tracking some rounds of storms and some cooler temperatures as well. Feeling a lot more like fall tomorrow and especially come the end of the week. Our nighttime temperatures are going to be dropping into the 40s for a couple of nights in a row. So really starting to feel like fall, especially by the tail end of the week. But looking ahead to the weekend, another big change is on the way with warmer temperatures and a little bit of a dose of summer as highs climb back into the 80s for a couple days. Now let's start with tonight. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. Just some spotty showers across central New York, but some thunderstorm activity just outside of the area, up by the Old Forge region and down to the south by Binghamton, as well as to the southwest near Penn Yan. And there's even a flash flood warning in Subban County for this thunderstorm that's just sitting over the same area. We are still monitoring the potential for some minor flooding, especially across the southern tier, where they've already been soaked from the rain that we had today and even more rain is on the way in from the south, not just for tonight, but we'll actually get a few separate rounds tomorrow as a slow moving system heads in from the west. So tonight we'll get this cold front that's going to bring in those storms from the south and those continue for the morning commute as well. So make sure you have the umbrella and the extra time driving. This system is also going to bring cooler temperatures for tomorrow as we hang out in the 60s all day long and then we get another round of storms towards the evening hours of the day, but those don't look to be as strong as the ones we'll get tonight and tomorrow morning. And again, there is still the risk to see some flooding now through early tomorrow, but it won't be completely widespread. It'll just be localized underneath some of those thunderstorms that produce heavy downpours. And also because we're tracking multiple rounds of storms, it won't take much rainfall to cause some pooling on the roads or especially across the southern tier where they're at the greatest risk of seeing some flooding. As far as our temperatures go, tomorrow will be on the cooler side compared to today. We hit 80 degrees today in Syracuse, but tomorrow only high of 68. We only drop down into the 50s though, so not a terribly cool night. We will be slightly warmer on Wednesday, climbing into the mid 70s. Then we drop down into the upper 40s at night. So you'll probably want to turn the heat on Wednesday night, but definitely for the second half of the week, you'll probably want to turn the heat back on. Only in the mid 60s during the day Thursday and mid 40s at night, probably the first night of the year that you'll need the heat back on. Same goes for Friday, upper 60s during the day, upper 40s at night. Now let's time out your forecast for tonight. Temperatures drop down into the lower 60s by early tomorrow morning with rounds of scattered showers and storms through the overnight, the morning commute and up until about 1 or 2 p.m. After 2 p.m. we get a couple hours of dry time and then looking ahead to 6 p.m. we'll get another round of storms. A check of your seven day forecast. Scattered showers and storms tomorrow. A few isolated showers Wednesday, drying out Thursday and into the weekend and gradually warming back up. We'll be in the 60s Thursday, Friday, but back into the 80s by Sunday, Monday. Matt.